The annual meeting of culture and tourism ministers from South Korea, China, and Japan took place in Korea's western port city of Incheon today. The ministers agreed to further develop cultural exchanges and expand tourism cooperation between all three countries. Our Kan Young Woo has the story. The tourism ministers of South Korea, China, and Japan have vowed to redouble their efforts to bring peace, stability, and prosperity in Northeast Asia through tourism exchanges and cooperation. Adopting a joint declaration, the three tourism ministers, South Korea's Park Yang-ho, China's Ro Su-gang, and Japan's Keiichi Ishii, pledged to work together to promote local tourism and lead the future of the tourism industry. Also earlier in the day, the culture ministers of the three nations held a separate meeting and signed the Incheon Declaration, which dedicates more focus on the future generations and emphasizes the role of culture in the fourth industrial revolution. Following the signing ceremony, South Korea's Suncheon, China's Yangzhou, and Japan's Kita Kyushu have been named as the 2020 East Asian culture cities, which will be working with one another to boost cultural exchanges. But in between the two ministerial level meetings, a local civic group held a protest in front of the meeting venue. The protesters called for a boycott of the 2020 Tokyo Olympics over concerns of radioactive contamination. They delivered its petition to a Japanese official and called upon Tokyo to halt its, quote, economic retaliation measures against South Korea. But according to a South Korean ministry official, the ministers of Seoul and Tokyo implicitly agreed to put aside matters like the ongoing trade disputes, wartime forced labor, comfort women issue, and the end of a military intelligence sharing pact between the two nations. The worsting relationship between Seoul and Tokyo was not brought up during the ministerial level talks here at the Songdo Convention. Instead, they focused on ways to promote cultural exchanges and tourism cooperation between South Korea, China, and Japan. Kan Young-woo, Arirang News, Songdo.